Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you how to add Bootstrap in your project or you can say add client-side library project uh, in inside your project in ASP.NET Core. So just click on it, add, uh, right click on your project name, add client-side library. The default uh, client-side library is uh, CDNS. Uh, so uh, this is the default provider and uh, lots of provider available in, uh, in your drop down list so uh, cdenjs file system gsde layer and the unpackage okay so uh, just use cdns js to install the bootstrap library and when uh, type uh, twitter uh, just type twitter You can see uh, we have a Twitter lib.js file, Twitter fetcher, Twitter bootstrap. So uh, this is the default or you can say the updated version of the bootstrap that is 4.4.1. Uh, install your bootstrap uh, inside your lib www root folder, lib directory and uh, the directory name is Twitter bootstrap. So just replace it that with the bootstrap only. Just install it. After install the applications, you uh, have seen a libman.json file created inside your projects. That is this file. This is the manifest file in your, into your project. Here, uh, this is the JSON data. You can say or uh, just save this application and check your uh, bootstrap directory under your lib directory. Uh, just just open your www root folder and that is the lib directory and this is the bootstrap okay and this is the bootstrap we have css file and the js file okay so uh, this is the updated version and if you want to uh, use the lower version just got it uh, 4.1.3 uh, 1. 1. this is the uh, older version of the bootstrap just save this and uh, updation is uh, uh, changes update changes occurs in your library just also use this uh, quick action uh, and update your library also so sort properties and where you got uh, this line yeah there is short properties uninstalled uh, you can also uninstall your uh, twitter library uh, from uh, this action uh, tooltip and check for update also so stable is twitter 4. Uh, this is the latest version so just use it and uh, make some changes okay this is the uh, install bootstrap library in, inside your project <coughs> also add a jquery uh, just use uh, json syntax and add these things in in your project just copy that and paste it here and the library is the bootstrap uh, just i want to add the jquery so just add jquery and intellisense occur so jquery just click on it the jquery and you got all the latest version of the jquery that is 3.4.1 and the destination folder is bootstrap not bootstrap just i want to add inside the jquery okay that's fine uh, now save on click and you got a jquery plugin here the code.js and jquery.js file is existing so the default look of your application you have to see in and just after that uh, uh, apply the bootstrap on this page this is the layout page of your uh, of your application and uh, how to uh, clean client side libraries just when we cl uh, click on the clean uh, client side library you got uh, these two library is unstored but that file is open so this is not clean okay so how to restore it you can use restore client side library so there is how to install or you can say how to use client side library that like the bootstrap and the jquery inside your layout page so just open layout page 
there is so there is a um, library which is commented by me and use bootstrap css file so bootstrap there is and make some changes occurs in your application you have to see in there is this is the default applications provided by the latest bootstrap application so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core thank you very much for watching